1522, Howard Carter and his team found the tomb of Tutankhamun. It was the most important archaeological discovery to date, and I was there. I wasn't the lowest ranking member of this team, but I was close to it. However, my luck would change when I discovered that strange notebook. It was among a pile of old documents that I had been ordered to destroy. I thought it had ended up there by accident, although now I think that perhaps Carter knew what it was, and that's why he wanted to get rid of it. What seemed like a simple notebook was actually a codex. It spoke of cursed places, the lost tombs of nameless pharaohs, the An Ren, being so impious that they were erased from history to prevent their resurrection in the afterlife. Carter may have been afraid of those old prophecies, but not me. Thanks to the discovery of Tutankhamun, a period of growth began for archaeology. I wanted to take advantage of that and looked for sponsors for a new expedition. I used all my contacts for this. Miss Blackwood? Professor Hamuda, I'm glad to see you. That old sage taught me a lot about ancient Egypt and I always respected him, but his words angered me. You have no idea what forces you're playing with. The Nameless Ones should never see the light of day or humanity will be doomed. You must destroy that damn codex. I haven't come this far to be intimidated by these superstitions now. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'll continue with my plan, whether you like it or not. This codex is a great discovery for understanding the hidden history of ancient Egypt, as it reveals secrets never before disclosed. It contains very precise instructions for reaching the... Despite all my efforts, I couldn't finance my expedition. There were too many superstitions, too many people who were afraid, as if a black aura surrounded everything related to the Codex. To make matters worse, my last conference ended up in gunfire. The American in the car was Scott Muller, a legendary tomb raider or mad genius of engineering, depending on who you ask. Hey, I thought you retired. Why are you here? I think you have something good in your hands. Otherwise, there wouldn't be so many people interested in killing you. Well, if we're going to do this, we need to hurry. I don't know who those guys were, but they have the codex now. Luckily, I managed to copy the coordinates of the first tomb. I'm sure it's easy to get there. It's in the middle of the desert, and it's a dangerous, almost impossible journey. I know someone who could guide us. Nobody knows the desert like she does. That's how we met Samira, a silent warrior of the sands who took us to the coordinates I gave her without asking questions. It seems like they started digging a long time ago. But they stopped, and they left in a hurry. Hey, aren't you coming in? The deal was to bring you here and then back. I'm not going into a tomb. How curious. It looks like some kind of Ushebti, but life-sized. Usheptis are usually small humanoid figurines filled with magical spells. Traditionally, they were placed in Pharaoh's tombs to serve them in the afterlife, like magical slaves. What a load of nonsense. Well, it's a much better alternative to what they used to do, which was ritual sacrifices of slaves. Do you want to know how they executed them? The weird thing is the size. I've never seen a new Shebti this big. Kid, you can spare me the lecture. I'm here for the treasure. Just tell me where to start drilling and let's get it over. Sempatek Hamuda, you are accused of the crime of heresy. For years you have eluded our justice, but you will not escape the judgment of Osiris. I haven't touched it, I swear!
have to go now. How did you get here? Running and shooting. More are coming! Professor? Who are these guys? Why do they want to kill us? They are a Pophis cultist. They want to awaken the creature. Wait, nobody told me anything about a creature. It is the nameless pharaoh who dwells in the deepest part of this tomb. If he awakens, it's over. It will be the end of all existence. I don't understand. In the conference, it seemed like they were killing each other. No, those were Anubis disciples, protecting the tomb to prevent the nameless pharaoh from awakening. And we're in the middle of the sandwich? Great. Less talking, more shooting. Thank you. 